guys and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect and today we're diving back into some more better Minecraft. Starting off today, man, I have a plan for today, and it's going to involve adventure. Loads of adventure. I mean, so much adventure that it's going to require slime boots and a slime sling, because th that's how we're going to that's how we're going to travel. Um, so there, <laughs> there are uh, a large quantity of slimy boys all over the place. Slimy tower filled with slimy boys. Um, this one was pretty close. This one's actually closer. I guess that's over here in the dark area. Um, but I, I did encounter some problems whenever I started up today. Just over there, I've, I'm being affected by a siren. And uh, luckily I didn't get drawn in, which is pretty nice. That guy is shooting three of them. I didn't get drawn into it, but I, I was able to get my, my way out. But there is something really dangerous over there. Also, speaking of dangerous, this... Oh, yep. See, I'm getting sucked in. I don't... From where? I, it's over there. If I let it drag me in, it's gonna kill me, but I gotta get out of here. It's, oh, I gotta fight it. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's over there. We'll eventually kill it. Oh, oh, oh. This biome may not be a good biome after all. What? No, I don't want to kill... Oh, no. It's either that... Oh, no, I just killed that guy. You're a good guy. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Already. How? What is going on? Everything in this pack now is out to kill me. This is 100% true. Look at this dude. Oh my gosh, and I got arrow guys after me. Okay, so maybe we should go to the other one. I should probably take my horse because it's gonna be a bit safer, right? <laughs> oh gosh. So let's go ahead and hop on Clint and make our way to this one over here let's uh let's avoid this direction because yeah i'm also pretty pretty positive these are also where the sirens are located making water travel pretty dangerous for most people uh especially early on this right here though that's where we're heading so i've made it here i can see it up in the sky we've got to get up onto that tinker's construct slime island and i hope i brought enough wood if not well we're gonna we're going to have to grind for a little bit more wood. But luckily we have some access, so it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Now, the area that's covered there is sort of dark. I want to get right on the edge of this. Right on the edge. I think right about here is going to be a good spot. You can sort of line it up. You don't want to be too close to it, though, because then it can be kind of, kind of dangerous. I think this should be enough. That's like almost 128 blocks. So we are going to... To basically nerd pull our way up here. That's 100% what we're going to do. And I do have all the materials in my inventory to be able to craft it. Also, that thing is horribly dangerous. <laughs> I need to stay away from it. So I'm going to make my way up here. I have string. All I need is two string to be able to get to this. And we basically are going to make these two things. Once we get enough slime. Hopefully we don't die to any falling slime. Because sky slime potentially can fall from here. What an awkward situation. Okay. And then we should be breaking through. And we're through. However, I need to be careful because there might be a giant slime. Oh, there's not. Oh, good. Look how cool this looks up here, though. And we can also get these uh, slimy trees, which have some really cool wood. But I am mostly after the green slime here. Wow. And uh, be careful. Um, you can make blue versions of the slime sling, uh, but each color variant of the slime sling has different perks. Um, you're probably gonna want the regular green slime sling because that's the, the like the original that launches you pretty high up in the air and the slime boots, boots completely break your fall. At least that's what I, I hope. I'm pretty sure it completely breaks your fall, you bounce. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go ahead and collect all of this slime and probably even go for the, uh, the trees like those slime saplings. Also, make sure you grab some dirt because 
you can only plant those saplings on slimy dirt. So now that I have all the slime gathered up, all I have to do is open up our crafting table, craft myself a few of these slime blocks. Don't know exactly how many I need, but I do know the boots are pretty simple to make. And then the slime sling itself, bam. Look at that. And all we gotta do is put this in our boot slots and we should be fine. Like at this point we should like, yeah, bounce when we take damage. So let's go ahead and hop down, get our horse, get our horse back to safety Avoid all the beetles, which there's a lot of beetles. Oh my gosh. Avoid the beetles. Here's our horse. Our horse is right there. Oh boy. Look at all the beetles. Look at all the mobs. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta go. Clint, let's go. Let's go, Clint. No, Clint. No. Clint, no. <laughs> what did, what just happened? What even? Oh my god. Well, you know what? I should have just left the horse, you know, but deep down inside I I had a special connection. I just I didn't want to lose Clint, but well Clint's gone. Clint's gone. I really hope everything despawned. Oh, for the most part things despawned. For the most part, let's get all of this. Oh, I think I should have hit a button. I think there was a button. Oh man, Clint is a hundred percent gone. Oh, man. I mean, we have our slime sling, though, which is great because this will launch us basically into space. <laughs> Anywhere we need to go, it's going to launch us there. Oh, and no more fall damage. So after all those shenanigans, I think it's time for us to pack up and head somewhere different, somewhere away from here. I know this is a nice place. We do have this ship and everything, but I don't want to call it home. I don't want to call this home. I want to find somewhere different to call home. I don't think walking through a wasteland could be any any spookier than this. Oh no, especially with it being night. I'm just trying to find a village or something with a bed. Maybe traveling was not a good idea. Oh no, no, no. No, 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 I do not. Do not want to deal with that. What is even going on over here? I'm out. I'm, I'm, I am out. I'm out. I, oh God. All right. We're out. We're out. I'm rushing. I'm getting out of here. Oh, what in the world? That's the Kraken. What am I even looking at? I'm. Oh no, I, guys, I'm seriously, I thought adventuring was a good idea. No, and especially with it being dark and I don't have a bed. This is horrifying. There's no way this tree could be possibly bad. It's absolutely beautiful and glowing. Pyro log. Oh, it's from the Pyromancer mod. Wow, that's absolutely stunning. Um, But we still have like, a lot of issues at hand. Oh boy. It's like these guys running after me. Oh, they got the worms. What is even going on right now? I turned and looked at this for a moment and I, I, I was completely startled. I was like, what is that? Oh my gosh, that's... Oh, that's the Leviathan uh, structure. Oh, but where it's placed scared me, but we found a village! Finally! Hopefully there's nothing insane over here. Hopefully we can just kind of chill for a moment. I just want to take a break. Oh man, the villagers being raided over here. Like, oh, there's no bed. So, I just, I just want to chill. <laughs> just want to find a bed and chill for a moment. All right, this one's mine. Give, give it here. It's not yours anymore. <laughs> I, I want it. Thank you. Whew. Off in the distance in this village, there's, there's dragons. I forgot that ice and fire's in here. Like, I knew it's in here, but I forget about the dragons. Oh, man, the dragons are in here. Like, where are the dragons? Like, where would they be, like, in this world? Like, whatever's going on over here, <laughs> it's like the chunks haven't loaded in yet. It's... Oh, man. I just don't know what to expect. Like, once we find a dragon, 
Like, we'll be completely dead. Honestly, we'll be dead if we find a dragon. I mean, just... We have no gear. We, we have slime boots. What are slime boots going to do for us? But this is a dead one. We can, of course, go get its bones. Um, I have no actual use at the moment for bones. I just want to find a, a place to rest. Just to relax. It just looks like all of these biomes are incredibly dry and, like, deserty and scary. Horrifying biomes. So I did get lucky and I managed to find a couple of pieces of iron over here. Um, now all I need is a couple sticks. We can actually make ourselves an iron pickaxe to get started with. I know there's a lot of uh, mods in here for pickaxes and stuff, which we're going to dive into. But first, I just need it for this. I want to be able to grab this up. And what can we get rid of? <laughs> there's something in here we can get rid of, I'm sure. Like, I need this. Like the bats, I think we can probably get those anywhere. The beds, I, I definitely need the bed. All right, so now that we have a waystone, we can kind of set up a little shop a little bit better. So once we find a home, like having a waystone is nice because we can teleport back and forth to these villages. Oh man, which uh, will save us a, a lot of time, especially if we if we die or something. Like, oh man, like for real, who killed this thing? What, what even? is this <laughs> what a massive structure of just bone and smooth quartz blocks this thing is huge what like this takes up the the t holy smokes wow okay um it just makes me want to get out of here even more <laughs> Even more. What is this? Just random stuff all over the place. What are what's in these little structures? They're kind of like nether. They're kind of like those uh, nether portals. Ah, it's got a golden apple in it. A golden nuggets, a golden boot. I mean, I could find beetroot seeds probably anywhere. I'll take the golden apple. That could save our life. Also, there's a structure over here. I have no idea what this is, but I'm kind of, kind of interested in it. Might have some loot. Okay, so we can make swords out of it. Like gym boots. Hmm. That whole mod has some really cool looking blocks in it. Should probably not go that way. Let's see what this... I mean, this looks kind of spooky. Which may mean death. I'm going to put a waystone right outside of here. And that's another good thing a waystone can be used for. Is a way to always get back. Plus, we need to place one at spawn just in case. So, we'll just name it back for right now. And let's go check this out. This could be something worth getting into. There are some bats. Some levers. Did I do that? Oh. Some sneaky levers. Are these like fake levers? They are. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was Medusa. I'm pretty sure that was Medusa. Oh, that was Medusa. I, w I just about let Medusa out. I'm almost positive that's what that was. Uh, let's pack up. Let's go. We, we're not ready for this. We're not ready at all. Uh, these are pixies. Like, they look cute and, cute and innocent. Oh, no, no. They took my stuff. Don't take my stuff. They will steal your items out of your inventory. Like, they just stole the gold out of my inventory. We got to get out of here because I don't want to take in my diamonds. I have five diamonds that we found first episode. Oh, God. I got to get out of here. Everything is out to get me. I've got it. I just want to find a biome that is just... Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, you're adorable. You're so cute. You're not going to hurt me, are you? I don't think so. It didn't seem like he was after me. Like our first friendly creature we've encountered in a while. What could this possibly be? Like, I, I'm hoping for something that's not hostile. Oh, no. It's dark down there. 
if it's if it's hostile like we're going back up oh it's hostile oh i know what this is i know what this is it's a catacomb it's a <laughs> and they're after me hey little clams yep they're after me luckily there's a village over here which is kind of calm it seems Hopefully we can relax over here for a little bit. Oh man, just kind of figure things out. Entering the swamp. And of course it's a swamp variant. Nice. Okay, what is a coin dragon? Please tell me, what what is this? I've got to look this mod up because I have no idea what that, what is a coin dragon? So after doing a little bit of research, this thing is actually pretty cool. I mean, it's not going to offer a whole lot. Um, it, it's mostly sort of like a cosmetic thing, but can be traded with uh, with traveling villagers or wandering villagers. But I mean, it, it is cool. Look at this. Look, look. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh no. Ah, ah. Oh, no. These things are here. Ah, no, I want you. Oh, did you see that? Did you see what was after me? Did you? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can, if I'm ready for that. Where did it go? That was another ice and fire mob. Oh, did it get killed? It got killed. Yes. No, 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 no. Get him. This is going to kill me. Th those. They are so dangerous. My axe is over there. I've got to... I've got to get to this. Um, See, I'll put that feather there. Woo. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe we should sleep. That'd probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? So I've definitely found where all the awesome loot is. Look at this. Look at all this iron. And there's a heart of the sea in here. And TNT. Uh, yes, please. I will take all that iron. Even the gold. Might as well. And these are Thrasher Tooths? I mean, they're not really used for all that much. You can make a trident out of them. Prismarine Rod? One? We have almost enough to make an... What? They are Bone Mill. I'm gonna leave it there for right now. At least I know where they're at. Okay, yeah. Once we have some better stuff, we definitely know the, the chest to come loot. For sure. Are inside these buildings. Okay, so now that we have this, that coin dragon, like I was trying to show... You place it down, and it's just a little cute dragon that just makes noise. Like, otherwise, it's an item inventory pet sort of thing that just stays in here. And you can use it to trade for some stuff from, like I said, the uh, traveling uh, or the wandering trader. And you can use that to get, like, these gems that you can trade. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. What is going on that you can use? To trade for what is that? Oh no, it can come through! No! Oh, I gotta travel so far to get back here. No. Oh, never mind. I thought I had to travel a lot of a long distance. Oh, good thing I put my bed here. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I picked up the other bed and not that one. What was that? What even is that thing? It just wrecked me. From a distance. A hunter from the dungeon mob. It looks really cool. Don't get me wrong. I didn't know it could go through walls. Get out of here. Ugh. There we go. I killed it with my fist. Wait, is it still hitting me? Oh my goodness. I've got to get my stuff. Oh, uh, transfer items. Oh, I love that. The button's so much nicer. Still hold my sword. Wow, I have a shield and I don't even use it. I know. Sorry. I. That's just me. There's another one. It's got a, a long reach on it, it feels like. Okay, we've got to get out of this area. <laughs> I still haven't found a place to settle down. I think I officially found the place that I want to call home. Yes. Ooh, and I might, well, this guy, this is the, uh, yeah, I know who this guy is. This is the gatekeeper from the Blue Skies mod, but this biome is beautiful here. 
Look at all the. Is it the uh, the alim? Alum? Alim? Flowers? Oh, they're beautiful. And this, this biome's quite large. We could probably find us a nice spot over by the water. Like, so we're at least kind of close to water. So we have a nice ocean view. Oh, man. And we don't have a lot of trees nearby, but that's okay. With the slime sling, we can easily travel. I'm liking it, actually. This area is pretty nice, too. There's also a village over here. I'm I'm kind of digging this. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm so indecisive when it comes to what I want to call spawn and not. There isn't easy to get to village though. Oh man, what a tough decision. So I know I know I don't have much inventory space available, but this just looks too tempting not to go down in and just sort of peekaboo and see what this is. What is this? It's massive. Like whatever it is, it is huge. Okay, there's peeps in here. There's a spawner, okay. Bunch of lava. But like, what is it? I got an advancement that said Iron Maiden. Look at all this obsidian. Like, these are all, like, almost basically nether portals. I'm, we're gonna have to check this out later. Like, I'm gonna have to figure out what this is. Like, eventually come back to it, because it's massive, whatever it is. Look at look at the structure here. It goes all underground and kind of peeks its head with the water. By the way, I placed a bet. I figured that's probably the best way to set a, a respawn point in case I die. I've died so many times now. Oh, boy. I have traveled too far. I've traveled too far. I don't want to load that area up for sure. That's just asking for trouble. It's it looked like a small dragon, but still, a dragon's a dragon. I'm not prepped for a dragon. Are you? I didn't think so. I wasn't even paying attention, and I'm pretty sure that is an ice dragon base. Oh boy. Yeah, it is. I'm out. Oh no, it's after me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bed, bed, can I get away? Am I fast enough to get away? No, don't you do it. Don't you, do, no, oh no. Save spawn location so I can not die. I have to go back really far. Did it break my bed? It broke it, it broke my bed. It broke my bed. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure it's gonna spawn me. Oh my god. I was so far away. So far, why? Okay, I'm just on my way to just, just get this. Is that an actual Leviathan? Is that really a Leviathan down there? I'm just, I just wanna get another slime sling so I can get my stuff. That's all I want. Come on, please, Leviathan, just leave me alone. <laughs> all I need is some slime so I can make some slimy boots and some slime sling once I get some string. Oh, I have a bad feeling that that's an actual Leviathan. Oh boy, it really looks like one. Okay. Earth Slime Island. Like, this one's actually pretty nice because it's, it's here. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Look at it just looking at me, like it knows. It knows I'm about to traverse some water. It knows. 100% that's Leviathan. That's actually horrifying. What mod is this from? I. Is this supposed to be in Subnautica? You're supposed to stay in Subnautica. Like that's where you're supposed to be. Oh my gosh. It even like moves really good. What in the world? Like, am I gonna, can I make this? Spending way too much time on this. I've, I've got it. I've got to go. I've got to go for it. Oh no, 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 don't. 
Don't do me that way. Come on. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Oh, I got struck by lightning, too. Underwater. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, good. Spooter. So I can, I can knock this guy. Hopefully kill this guy, this spider, before it kills me. And get its string. Wow. If I can actually kill it without it killing me. Can I? Oh, thank God I got the string. I just got to find one more. I think I'm getting close. Talk about a journey that I don't want to take ever again. I got to hurry up and get in here and grab this. Take items. I'm just missing these. I'm fine. I'll leave them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have two slime slings. So long as I have that, I'm fine. I'll get rid of this slime sling. Oh my gosh. I've got to get out of here. I just want to get back to the base somehow. Once we find another village, I think I'm just going to teleport back to sort of where we were at. It feels a lot safer back there. So we have a lot of adventuring ahead of us. I think, though, it's time for us to probably settle back down and head back to the original village where we had left off. Well, this is an interesting place. Just, uh... Man, I got... I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop adventuring. We've got to go back because I'm gonna die. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this here so we can always come back to this. But we've got to get back to to spawn. I believe that uh, this would have been our first village. Yes, that was right near spawn. We've got to get ourselves a waystone that is pretty close to spawn. And I know exactly where spawn's at because it's right here by the shed. Oh man, it's uh, what a what an adventure today, and you know what? I think this biome is going to be inevitably where I call home. Uh, I think that original spot that we pointed out last episode, that's uh right over in here. I think this is going to be a great spot. I've just yeah, that's just where we're going to eventually go. You know what? I think I can get used to this calmness. I think this area right here, right here on the map. Looking over this little area, we've got all this stuff around us to play with. I think we can call this home. I think this is probably going to be where we set up at least our, our main base to get started. So to sign, to sign that off, of course, we call it home. Wow. So I think I've had enough death and destruction for one day, but I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that is going to go to Bill Clemens. Thank you so much for your amazing support. I really do appreciate it. And guys, we have a lot of work ahead of us. A lot of cool stuff and mods to get into. I can't wait to uh, dive into the mining mods. That's going to be a whole, a whole new thing. The mining mods. Oh my gosh, there's so much to talk about. But I think this little spot right here by spawn, we should have just stuck with it from the beginning. It's such a beautiful spot compared to everywhere else I've seen. It's just been swamps. Just swamps everywhere so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and also if you're interested in becoming a patron find that link down in the description below by the way i also stream on twitch monday tuesday thursdays and fridays you can usually find me there um and all that's linked down in the description below guys i thank you so much i'll see you in the next one and as always thanks for watching